Hello, my name is Lou Marcos, and I am a professor in English and scholar in residence at Houston Baptist University, where I have taught for the last 29 years. As you can tell, I am making this video in my den at home because, along with all my fellow educators across the country and even across the world, I have been teaching my classes from home remotely. However, like all of my fellow teachers, I am longing for the fall when we can get back into the classroom and interact face to face with our students. And as I think of that glorious day, to which we are all hoping, uh, come this August and fall and September, I want to share with you why I believe Houston Baptist University is a unique university in the country that I want to encourage you to think about. Whether you're a student, a parent, or a teacher, I want to speak about what is unique about my university. And I want to do something a little bit strange. I want to speak to two audiences at the same time. I want to speak to audiences who identify as Christian, whatever your denomination, because this is a Christian university. But I also want to speak to those of you who do not identify as Christian, whether because you identify with another religion, because you're a spiritual seeker who believes there's something more but doesn't identify with a specific religion, or perhaps you're not a religious person at all. I want to speak to both groups together because I believe something unique is happening at Houston Baptist University, a school that is grounded, committed to the Christian faith, and yet is open and embraces people from all backgrounds and all religions. There aren't that many universities like that in our country that is so grounded and yet so open. So first, let me speak specifically to the Christian audience, though I hope you all will listen. I want you to understand that Houston Baptist University is a committed Christian university. We're not just Christians on Sunday. We believe that the Christian faith, what's often called the Christian worldview, has bearing on the way we teach and the way we educate students and the way we conduct ourselves and our research and everything we do at this university. Now, we are Baptists and we're proud of our roots, but at core, we are non-denominational. We are the mere Christianity of C.S. Lewis and Christians from every denomination work as faculty, staff, and are represented among our students. Now, when I say we take our Christian faith seriously, I mean that it has bearing in the classroom, what is often called the integration of faith and learning. Let me explain what I mean. According to the Bible, man was created good in God's image, but fell and is now in sin and depraved. That belief has a direct relationship to the way we educate our students. Because we believe that man is made in God's image, that we are therefore noble, we believe that it is worth educating ourselves, that it is worth preserving the things that man creates. And that includes the great works of ancient Greece and Rome written by pagan pre-Christian writers. And yet we want to learn from them because we believe that man is noble and is capable of reaching after truth. Now, as Christians, we believe that the complete truth is only found in Christ and the Bible. But we are liberated to reach out and learn from all the things that human beings have created. So we have to emphasize that we have a high view of man. And yet at the same time, because we believe very realistically that we are fallen and in sin, we believe that there is a need for limits. We do not believe in teaching students to think for themselves. We believe in teaching students to think rightly, using logic, using limits, using reason, not just opening our mind to anything, because our impulses left to themselves will lead us astray. And I don't think you need to be a Christian to believe that. But Christianity does teach that we are fallen and sinful, and we need boundaries. And so what we offer at our university is a safe place that both ennobles and also sets limits. And I think this is important. Another way in which the Christian faith has direct bearing in the classroom is our belief in what's called the incarnation. The belief that at a moment in history, God became man and entered human history as Christ. Do you know what that means? 
That means that God not only exists, it means that God can be known and God can be communicated. I can't tell you how much that empowers me and my fellow educators at Houston Baptist University. We believe that there really is such a thing as goodness and truth and beauty. And although we can't find them perfectly, we are fallen people. We can reach towards it and we can look for standards and we can appreciate we believe that. Also, because of the Incarnation, we believe that the whole world is ultimately filled with God's presence. That we can search that all truth is God's truth. Now, so far, I say I've been speaking to the Christian audience, but I really hope that those of you who do not identify as Christian are becoming excited by what I'm saying, are saying to yourself, that's the kind of education I want for myself, or for my children, or for my students. Because, folks, our Christianity makes us bold to believe that there is such a thing as goodness, truth, and beauty. That there are standards, that there are great books that are worth preserving and worth studying. And that by wrestling with those great books, we will become better people. We will become virtuous, morally self-regulating citizens. We have not given in to relativism as so many schools across this nation and across this world have done. We are not there to beat people on the head with the Bible. Everybody that works at the university needs to be Christian. But we open our doors to students from every faith. And not only from every faith, but from every country. My friends, Houston Baptist University is one of the most diverse universities in this country. And when I say diverse, I don't just mean black and white people, which is what a lot of people think that means. No, we have African American and Caucasian American. We have Hispanic students. We're a Hispanic serving institution with about 40% Hispanic and, and growing. Because you know that the way that Houston looks today in terms of our ethnic mix is the way that our country is going to look in 30 or 40 years. Right now, we are that mix. We are the place where the world comes together. And when I say Hispanic, we don't just have students from Mexico. We have students from uh, Guatemala, from Colombia, from, from El Salvador, from all around. We have so many students from India and Pakistan, from, from Vietnam and the Philippines, from China and Japan, from Egypt and, 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 and uh, Nigeria. The world has come here and we embrace our diversity because we want to learn from each other. Again, this is a Christian school. We will present the Christian gospel, but nobody has to accept that. That is not a requirement to graduate from this university. I'm hoping that if you're not someone who identifies with Christianity, you will be excited to see that this is a university that does have standards, that does have commitments, that does believe there is, again, goodness, truth, and beauty, and that by studying, we can become better people, that we are a school and a culture that believes in virtue. This may sound a little silly, but I want to be very honest with you. I went to secular schools 30 years ago, and it seemed to me that the role of the resident advisor, the RA, was to encourage us to experiment, including sexually. I don't want to sound like a prude here, okay, but our RAs are there to help students to live a virtuous life. And even if you're not a Christian believer, I hope that's what you want for yourself or your students or your, or your children. We believe it, and we believe that we want our students to be virtuous and not, quote, sleep around, not because we're prudes or want to smack people on the head, but because we hold ourselves to a higher standard of dignity. That's not happening in our culture. And I don't want to tout our horn too much, but folks, this is a unique thing. We take it seriously, but not in a negative way. Do, don't do this, don't do that. In a positive way. We want you to be better people than you can be. We want you to have a fuller self-respect, a self-respect for your body, for your sexuality, for your mind, for your emotions. At HBU, we have created a safe place where people from around the world can gather and join in dialogue. We are what America used to be. You see, folks, it is precisely because we are proud of and believe in our Judeo-Christian, Greco-Roman, Western heritage, it's because of that that we open and embrace other cultures. We are not threatened by other cultures because we know who we are and we want to invite people into that and learn from them as well. My friends, we need more universities like this. But I tell you, this is what you will find at Houston Baptist University. 
and I invite you to consider it for yourself, your students, and your children. Thank you, and have a blessed day.